Hi guys, my name is Marie and welcome to my kawaii room. So, if you watch my channel, you know that I love Japanese stationery. My first unique and cool Japanese stationery video was so popular that I decided it was time to do a part two. First, I want to give a big thank you to Skillshare who is sponsoring this video. They have thousands of classes for you to go and check out. Anything from watercolor flowers to calligraphy to cooking Indian food and learning Korean. In my opinion, this is a really great platform for learning because they have an online video component as well as a class project. So you really have a chance to practice what you learn. It costs less than $10 a month for an annual subscription. There's even a community where you can get feedback on your work. Most of the classes are 60 minutes or less and then they're further broken down into shorter segments so you can really find time to fit it into your schedule. Members will have access to thousands of classes. One class that I took and really enjoyed was a watercolor flower painting class. And this is something that I've always wanted to learn how to do but I never really knew where to start. So this 60 minute class was really amazing. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description box below will get a two month free premium membership to Skillshare. So you really have a chance to take some classes and learn some of those things that you've always wanted to do but you've never really had the time or money for. Anyway, let's get started with this Japanese stationery. These are the Kokuyo Corner Paper Clips. Kokuyo makes a lot of cool products including the Staplist Stapler, so I decided to check out these little paper clips. They can hold up to 40 sheets of paper and they're actually quite strong, so they work really nicely to hold together a stack of paper without damaging any of the paper. And they're much nicer than binder clips, they don't stick out as much and they don't rip the paper. If there is ever such a thing as a luxury notebook, then this would be it. This is the Campus Smart Ring Binder Notebook by Kokuyo. This notebook takes all the good qualities of a binder and a spiral bound notebook and puts them into one item. So like with a binder, you can open it up and take out pages and just rearrange things and add new pages into your notes where they weren't before. But unlike a binder, it's not bulky and it's really slim. You can fit it into your backpack, it's not heavy, and it's kind of nice to be able to see the first page of your notes. Also, the quality of the paper is so nice. It's really soft, and you can also get replacement paper. They sell graph paper as well as plain paper, but the only downside about this binder is that you do have to buy replacement paper because the initial binder only comes with 10 sheets. I have long since graduated, but this binder makes me want to go back to school and take some notes. This is the Kurutoga lead pencil. And with ordinary lead pencils, the lead will get worn down on one side when you're writing, resulting in a slanted edge on that tiny piece of lead. And every time you write, the lines will look a little bit different depending on the angle of the pencil that you're using. Personally, this doesn't bother me. I actually like the flat side of the lead, but if you don't like this, then you should get this pencil because this pencil has a mechanism that rotates the lead while you write. If you look at the base of the pencil, there's a little orange thing with a white circle on it. And if you look closely, you can see the white circle rotating around the base of the pencil as I write. And the lead is also rotating with that little white circle. This is the mono two-way correction tape and eraser all in one little device. So if you use a pen and a pencil, then you can compress your correction tools into this little thing. On one end, you have this eraser, which is square, so you can be really precise with your erasing. And then on the other end, you have a correction tape, which is retractable. So I think this is really great because you can protect both the eraser as well as the correction tape while it's in your pencil case. If your eraser or your correction tape runs out, then you can get a refill of both. Let me show you how precise this eraser can be. You can erase a single letter and fix it without having to erase the other letters or rewrite anything. These are the Kokuyo Hakoake two-way scissors. I'm telling you, this company Kokuyo has the best products. 
These are two-in-one scissors that have both a cutter and a small blade. The blade is not too sharp, so it only protrudes like one millimeter. So it won't cut so deeply in the package so that it'll damage the items inside. And when you need to open the boxes, you squeeze the scissor handles together and push the slider on the side. And this will move the top scissor blade down and expose the tip of its cutting edge. After you've unlocked the blade, you just have to squeeze the handles together. You don't have to keep holding down the slider because as long as you hold the handles together, the cutting edge will stay extended and it'll retract as soon as you let go. So this will prevent you from accidentally leaving the blade exposed when you're done using it. These scissors are especially good for cutting tape because they'll resist the sticky residue in two ways. They have small ridges on the inside of both blades that reduces the amount of sticky material that can touch the blades and also there's a special glueless treatment which makes it harder for the sticky material on the tape to adhere to the blades and when you're all done using the scissors you can cover them up with a safety cap okay so this is the Kokuyo one patch stamp and this is basically a reinforcement sticker that you can put on your paper that you have ripped out of your binder or your planner so this comes in really handy if you use three ring binders for school or if you use a planner that has a binder in it and you have to have holes in your paper and you accidentally rip the paper out of the binder, it gets so annoying, right? So this thing will repair the holes so perfectly. This is such a genius device. You can use the lid as a guide to line the hole up perfectly with the stamp. So you put it under the bottom of the paper and then you stamp it down and then it's in the perfect position. And because this is clear, it doesn't interfere with the look and feel of your paper. So if you have a pretty design on your planner, the sticker won't interfere with how it looks and you can just fold the edge over if it's too big. This stamp is also refillable so you can replace the stickers once they run out. This is the Lit Hit Lab double zipper pen case and this is a really nice pencil case for people who like to have everything laid out Marie Kondo style. So I've been eyeing this case, I've seen it on the stationery circuit and I've been tempted to get it but it's like 10 to 14 dollars for this case. It's kind of expensive when you consider that I can get like a three dollar case from Daiso, that's really cute. But I decided to go ahead and indulge, and I am loving this. I think this is going to be great for travel. When you open this up, you have a place to put all of your pens, and you can arrange them in a way that you can see everything, instead of just putting them all into a big pouch and having them all jumbled up in a mess. This pencil case will lay everything out flat for you really nicely. And then it has some spaces in the back where you can put like paper clips or staplers or whatever you want. It's a little bit bulky, but if you like to have all your stuff with you, then this is amazing. This is the Fueki-kun glue, and not only is this super cute, it's made with 100% cornstarch, so it's safe for kids. These are the Kokuyo Beetle Tip Dual Color Highlighters. And they come in these really soft pastel colors that are not as bright as your typical highlighter. And the fun thing about these pens is they have two highlighters in one. So you don't have to recap your pen to switch colors. You can just, all you have to do is just rotate your pen over to the other side. And this is great for when you're taking notes and you like to color coordinate things and use a few different colors of highlighter. The colors are still fluorescent, but they are much softer, so they're less likely to bleed through your paper or be kind of hard on your eyes. If you like to have the full spectrum of colors in your pencil case, then you can save space by having these two-in-one highlighters. Also, I noticed that these are pretty smudge-proof once they dry. Okay, I saved the best item for last. If you guys watched my Zen Pop stationery haul, then you will recognize this and the Beetle highlighter because I got these two items in the Zen Pop box. And I'm so glad that I got that because otherwise I would have never found out about this amazing car. This is a little cleanup car. So don't you hate it when you erase something and then you have those little eraser shavings all over your desk? 
Well, this car is going to help you clean up eraser shavings in a really fun way. Those little brooms sweep up all of the eraser shavings and dump them into the little white repository in the back. This is so adorable. By the way, if you guys are interested in getting a Zen Pop stationery subscription box, I will leave a link in the description. I actually have a coupon code where you can save $3 off of your order. I will try to link most of these products in the description box. I think that they are probably going to be available on Amazon and keep in mind that those are affiliate links and as an affiliate I do earn from qualifying purchases. If you enjoyed that check out these videos here for more Japanese stationery and shopping videos and I want to give a big thank you and shout out to my Patreons and channel members. Thank you guys so much for your support. I really appreciate it. I'll talk to you next time. Bye!